Clownfish live on coastal reefs and in shallow and sheltered lagoons at depths of 1 to 12 metres. On the positive side, clownfish are ideal beginner fish since they are easy to care for, hardy and don't require a huge aquarium to survive happily. Because wild clownfish always stay in or near anemones in a reef environment, they require very little space. Clownfish, in turn, keeps the anemone clean by eating and removing parasites. Despite their close relationship with the anemone, clownfish do still live in groups. When the female dies, the dominant male changes sex and becomes the female, a change which is irreversible. Yes, unfortunately, clownfish are usually quite aggressive fish. These fish grow up in coral reefs in the wild, and the coral reef is no place for the faint of heart. The coral reef is a highly competitive place for any fish to live, with predators always being around the next bend. It's a relentless fight for survival, and it's why these fish are so aggressive and territorial. No, the change is irreversible. Clowns aren't big fans of high floor, but they'll often just avoid the high floor areas in the tank. Clownfish aren't dangerous to humans, however, clownfish have a few ocean predators including stingrays, sharks, eels and other big fish but their greatest threat is humans. They should have vibrant colour, should eat when fed, fins should be up and not shredded, their slime coat should be intact and not look like it's coming off. Pretty much what you would look for in any fish. They can bite and almost always make you jump. I have one that always attacks my hand, even when I'm working up the other side of the tank, six feet away. It hurts sometimes, it will bite at my rings and pull hair on my hands a couple of times. I expected to see some blood. Clownfish need at least 20 gallon tank, so they have enough room to both hide and explore. You will need a larger tank if you want to keep an enemy too. For each additional clownfish, allow a further 10 gallons. When kept in an aquarium, these ferocious omnivores will gladly eat a large variety of fish food. You can even feed them on flake fish food, which is highly rare for, for saltwater fish to eat. However, if you want your clownfish to thrive, you need to give them a varied diet. Hanging out in the corner is a sign of insecurity. I observe it a lot with those that got beaten up by other fish, usually also clowns, in the tank. Clownfish only feel really secure if they have a host, ideally in an enemy, but surrogates like corals and ceramic flower pots work as well. Clownfish are omnivores, which means they eat meat and plants. They typically eat algae, zooplankton, worms and small crustaceans, basically anything. Like humans, they love staying in the dark, usually at the bottom of the tank to stay asleep. In the ocean, clownfish have the very same characteristics and they also love to go down to the most comfortable corals to sleep within the presence of the light. Oh, without, not within. <laughs>